Hi everyone, it's me. So this week we are back, but we're not eating this time. This week I wanted to do a selection of British drinks, essentially non-alcoholic for this one, but I wanted to just sample some weird drink soda pop stuff, okay? Juice, all that. The tricky thing is I have been living in England for over three years now, and let me tell you, I've tried a lot of stuff. So I am struggling sometimes to find things that I haven't already tried, but I've done it this time. Now I'm not sure if these are specific to just the UK, just England, I'm not sure. All I know is I've never tried them, so I'm gonna try them. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, where do we want to start first? I'm thinking let's start here. Have you ever seen one of these before? So this is a Carabao energy drink, green apple. Now I went for the sugar free because I've been trying to have minimal sugar lately. So obviously this one is going to taste worse than the full sugar one, but that's okay. I suffer for my art. Now it just says energy drink, green apple, bring it on. Okay. Now I bought this particular one at a co-op petrol station. Um, oh, I can already smell it. I had to get gas this morning. I Normally North Americans say they're getting gas from a gas station, but you guys tend to say petrol from a petrol station. I got gas from a co-op and I went inside and I saw this and I thought, I gotta try it. So cheers. Oh my God. Here's the thing, it's definitely green apple, which is a fun flavor, all right, I'll give you that, sure. I think because it's sugar-free, it has this really weird aftertaste effect thing happening in my mouth right now. Oh, buddy. So this says it's imported into London, manufactured under license of Carabao something something Thailand. So this might be a Thailand. A Thai drink, perhaps. Who knows, but you can get it at co-op. The, the first taste is fantastic. The aftertaste is gross, and that's probably because it is sugar-free. But otherwise, I mean, it's not bad. I'm gonna give the green apple energy drink Ah. <sighs> Four out of seven of these creepy bull horns. It's fine. Um, the no sugar aspect tastes weird, and I am gonna be feeling this. Fantastic. Next up, we got twins. Can you see them? Now, everybody always tells me you have to try dandelion and burdock. And to be honest, sounds disgusting, but here we go. We finally have them. I got two. So it seems like the supermarkets each make their own branded version, which, all right, sure. So Asda only was selling the diet dandelion and, and burdock. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that properly. Then I also have the Morrison's dandelion and burdock, no added sugar version and I thought I would just try them both. Let's start with diet, right? It's, these have been rolling around my car, so let's just open them slowly. Now, it's interesting that they're all branded purple. I'm not sure what that means, but it is like a black cola. I'm not sure about pouring this. Oh no, here we go. I got it on my desk, but you guys can't see that, so it doesn't count. So this is the Diet Dandelion and Burdock. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 
Y'all are nasty. <sighs> the problem I faced when I was downstairs in the kitchen is I thought, I'll just bring one glass and I'll just reuse it so it's less washing up. But that means I now have to finish this so I can move on to the next one. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. I wonder if I could just do this. Yes, I can. That is disgusting. It tastes like licorice or aniseed or whatever you want to call it. It's gross. Y'all know I don't like licorice and you told me to drink this anyway. So I don't trust any of you. Well, that's the diet version. I'm going to give the Asda diet dandelion and burdock, which is one of the worst names. Zero out of five sad dandelions. Not nice. Okay, so the next one is the Morrison's, oh, the Morrison version, which also looks like Black Death. Now I've learned my lesson and I'm only going to put a little bit. I feel like I'm getting clammy, like the, I'm getting the cold sweats. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's not nice, you guys. It's really sweet, licorice-y flavor. Oh, where did the cap go? So it just says carbonated, no added sugar, dandelion and burdock flavor soft drinks with sweeteners. But what dandelion and burdock flavored soft drink, but what but what is that? Anyway, it's not good. Morrison's, I'm gonna give it the same. Zero out of five sad burdocks. Which I don't even know what that is. This is not nice. I understand that this flavor is unique to you guys. Not for me. Let's do something that looks far nicer. What about this? I even got it with a cute little sippy opening thing here. What do you call that? I don't know. So this is v Vimto, Vimto still, so I'm assuming it's juice. Should it be doing that though? Anyway, it doesn't say what the flavor is on the front, but it just shows a bunch of berries. How do you get the top off? Okay, cheers. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, that's strange. I thought this was gonna be a fruit juice. You know, like a fruit punch, refreshing, yum. This is cream soda, which is very alarming when you're not expecting cream soda. A seriously mixed up blend of grapes, raspberry, and black currants, refreshingly fruity since 1908. But this is straight up, what did I just say? Cream soda. I'm not really a cream soda person, so I'm gonna take a pass on this one. I'm gonna give Vimto, Vimto, not sure, four out of eight surprising cream sodas. I genuinely thought this was juice. I thought this is gonna be an easy win, but it's not. Okay, this one is definitely gotta be good. I'm putting all my bets on this one. This is Rubicon Spring Black Cherry Raspberry Sparkling Spring Water and Fruit Juice. It looks refreshing. It's only 12 calories. It's a pretty color in a pretty bottle. I need a win. This has also been rolling around my car, so let's just open it slowly. Cheers to Rubicon.
that sucks too. <laughs> Why can't I just have something nice? I spent all this money on all these drinks and they all suck. Okay, this is not very good. Sparkling black cherry and raspberry flavored spring water drink with fruit juice, sweetener, and vitamins. I don't like it. It just tastes real sweet, like overwhelmingly sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna give Rubicon Spring three out of nine angry raspberries. I'm getting angry now. I just want a nice sparkling juice. Is that so hard to find? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put that one away now. Thank you. And finally, the one that I was worried about the most, we have a bitter shandy. No added sugar from Morrison's. Kill me now. I honestly have no idea what this tastes like. I've seen it around, um, yet never uh, fancy to try. But here I am, my stomach is already angry at me, so why not one more? Okay, relax. We're gonna use the same cup because that's how I do things. Oh, <coughs> yuck. Okay, here we go. Now I think this is the same sort of idea with the Dandelion and Burdock in that all the different supermarkets have their own sort of branded one. This one obviously I got from Morrison's I got today. What a zoo, eh? My god, people were just running all over the place. Color-wise, it's a lot less scary than the black of Dandelion and Burdock. It's more of like a nice, a nice honey color. So cheers. God. It's gonna be a no from me. Okay, so a bitter shandy is carbon carbonated lemon flavor soft drink with beer and sweeteners. Alcohol content not more than 0.5 by volume. That's surprising. And it's just not good. I get the sort of lemony flavor, but then there's like a sad beer flavor in the background. Where I think if you had a, like an actual shandy, like at a bar, it would be a lot nicer. This is like, I guess, the cheap man's version. <laughs> I'm gonna give the Morrison Bitter Shandy two out of five depressing pints of non-alcoholic beer. I get what it's trying to do and it just shouldn't, it shouldn't do it. So those are some of the weird, I mean they're not weird to you guys, they're weird to me. Some of the British drinks that I thought I would try but how do they compare against each other? That's a good question. Okay, what was the worst? Dandelion and Burdock, my friends. That was not nice, and it should not be made. Y'all should just stop. I'm gonna put them both together because I tasted no difference between the two brands. Then the Bitter Shandy comes in as a close loser. That was pretty gross. I also didn't like the cream soda. That was depressing. Next comes the super sweet sparkling juice, and guess what wins? The Thai energy drink. <laughs> yeah, coming back to it after drinking all of these, suddenly this tastes a lot better than I remember it being. So that is the list comparison of these particular uh, British drinks. I mean, the top one was Thai, so I guess we can't really say British, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If you guys have other drinks you think I should try, please let me know and I'll do some more Drink This episodes. I keep meaning to do another beer version and I will at some point. You just gotta stick around. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye!